Good morning, friends. Welcome to Yoga Story Time again with Zoo and Blaze. <laughs> We're excited to be doing some more Yoga Story Times with you guys. The book that I have today is one of my very favorites, and it's called Anna and Her Rainbow Colored Mat. And it's about a girl who starts school in a new place and how she makes friends and how she actually helps her friends learn more about yoga, her classmates learn about yoga. It's another kid's yoga story. So you guys are gonna see some poses throughout the whole story and then we're gonna retell the story together through yoga. All right, let's see about Anna. Say hello to Anna, announced the teacher. She's our new student from the country. Anna looked down at her toes. She felt a pain in her stomach. Hello, Anna, chimed the class. What's that red thing sparkly? What is that red thing in her sparkly backpack? Ooh, check out her curly hair. Look at her crazy colored shoes, whispered the children to each other. Anna couldn't hear them. At recess, Anna unrolled her red yoga mat next to the tree. She felt safe on her yoga mat. She learned to do yoga by watching her mom every morning. As she moved through her poses, she imagined traveling the world. What a cool thing to do, huh? That day, Anna imagined going on a farm adventure. She arched up like a cat, she kicked up like a horse, and she waddled like a duck. Anna was in her own little world on her red yoga mat. She couldn't hear the five children watching her. What's she doing? That looks weird. Ha 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 ha. The kids were laughing. They weren't really sure what was going on. They didn't understand it. The next day at recess, Anna unrolled her orange yoga mat next to the tree. That day she imagined a journey to the jungle. She swayed like a palm tree. She stretched like a jaguar and she hissed like a snake. I can't wait to do that with you guys in Blaze soon. Anna was in her own little world on her orange yoga mat. She couldn't hear the children, the 10 children watching her. Wow, more came. What's she doing? That looks weird. Ha, ha, ha. Wow, so they still kind of don't understand. They think it's funny. Anna looked forward to recess time. She ignored the funny looks and laughter from the other children. Her mother always said to her, be true to yourself, Anna. If you wanna be happy, then you must be happy for others around you. Every day she remembered what her mom said. She thought about being happy inside. She tried not to worry that she didn't fit in or that she was different. The following day, Anna unrolled her yellow yoga mat next to the tree. Mm. That day she imagined a safari to the desert. She stretched up like a pyramid, she perched like a sphinx, and she bent her back like a camel. Anna was in her own little world on her yellow yoga mat. She couldn't hear the 20 children watching her. What's she doing? That looks kind of interesting. Hmm. So now they don't think it's just funny. Now they're kind of growing curious about what's going on. They sound like they wanna learn more. One day as Anna was unrolling her green yoga mat under the tree, she felt a soft tap on her shoulder. I have a hearing loss too. Nick pointed shyly at Anna's hearing aids. Anna was surprised that Nick was talking to her. She noticed groups of giggling girls following him around the playground. I lip read. I don't know anyone like me. Nick pointed to her mat. What is it you're doing anyway? So his ears have trouble hearing as well, kind of like Anna's. And he's curious about what she's doing with her map. I imagine that I am traveling the world. I visit deserts, oceans, and forests. Anna leaped around her map. Why don't I teach you to lip read and you teach me to travel the world? Nick grinned from ear to ear and felt happy for the first time in a long time. He just made a new friend. Each day, Anna and Nick practiced lip reading together. And at recess time, Anna taught Nick how to travel the world. All you need is a little concentration and a whole lot of imagination. 
Anna told her new friend. I've got lots of imagination and I really like concentrating, so this should be really fun. That's probably why I like yoga so much. Anna unrolled her blue yoga mat under the tree. She gave Nick her red one. They trekked through the mountains, they swayed like trees, they stood tall like mountains, and they moved like bears. How much fun is that? Yoga is always better when we do it together. They didn't notice the group of 40 children watching them. Look what they're doing. That looks fun. Hmm. Gosh. So at first they thought it was kind of weird and they didn't really understand it, the kids, right? And then they grew kind of curious and interested in it. And now it sounds like they really, maybe they want to try it. Hmm. How wonderful. One day, Anna unrolled her purple yoga mat next to the tree. Let's imagine going to the ocean. Nick joined Anna under the tree. Here, let me move your chair so you can see better. Come stand up. And come sit there, buddy. Let's imagine we're going to the ocean. Nick joined Anna under the tree. They flapped like swimmers, they balanced like surfers, and they tilted like sails in the wind. They were so busy being seagulls, sandcastles, and seashells that they didn't notice the 40 children around them. Suddenly, it started to sprinkle. Oh, it starts to rain. Anna's legs shot up like water from a dolphin's blowhole. The rain fell gently on her face. I'm happy inside, and my dreams have come true. Anna felt a soft tap on her toes. Look, Anna, a rainbow, said Nick excitedly. And do you know what he's pointing to? All the different colored mats. Anna smiled when she saw that a group of children had come to join them on their own colorful yoga mats. And in that way, they were able to share the gift of yoga with her friends at school. And she learned how to lip read because she had a hearing loss and she couldn't hear well. So she learned a new skill and her friend learned a new skill as well. And they shared it with their classmates which means that they were all connecting and becoming better friends. And that's always a good thing. I like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Let's get on our mats and do some yoga to Anna and her rainbow colored mats. As you guys can see, Blaze is such an awesome listener. He's already there. He's paying attention. And I'm going to scoot our chairs out of the way. Blaze, take our book and let's find our poses, my friend. I'm going to do this program without my buddy here. Here, no, bring it to me so that we can do our poses. Thank you. So this story starts with our friend Anna, right? And she starts at a new school. So she goes to school. So let's start by telling our story. Anna, our friend, goes to school. Let's start with our school pose. We're going to stand with our legs apart, right? We're only going to turn one of our toes out. So can you start with your right toe? This side? Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna build our house for our school, the building. I'm gonna build the back side, one, two, three, and then I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna bring my foot in. I'm gonna try it on my other side, okay? I'm gonna build the front of my school building. Turn <coughs> this foot out. Don't stand with your legs too far apart or you won't be able to do it. So it looks like maybe you're a little unsteady. You have to bring your legs closer together, yep. And they have to be even. So you're gonna build the bottom of your building and then grow the top of your building. Try it on the other side, Blaze. On your left side. That side, yep, arm goes up and the other one shoots up. Beautiful, so she's at school and she gets to school. She's a little nervous, remember? She has some funny feelings in her tummy and she's kind of looking at her toes because these other kids are noticing things like her curly hair and her sparkly backpack and her yoga mat. But they don't really know what she's gonna do with all those things. So what Anna does is at recess, she goes near a tree and she unrolls her mat. She's learned yoga through her mom. And do you remember that the first thing she does when she starts to imagine yoga and traveling the world, she goes on a farm adventure first. So for us to go on our farm adventure, we're gonna arch up like a cat, which means we're gonna come on our hands and knees. Are you ready, Blaze? We're gonna take a breath in, okay? And then we're meow. gonna look at our belly buttons and meow it out. Meow. And then we're gonna breathe in. 
to breathe in again. Meow. And then we're going to meow it out. Meow. And round out your back, friends. One more time. Meow it out. And then round out into your belly button. Meow. Beautiful. A farm adventure. And then we're going to kick up our legs like a horse. So from here, I'm going to place my hands down. And since my feet are underground, I'm going to turn my toes under. And then I can shoot up my hips into the sky. Can you do that? And then can you kick up like a horse? Woo! Awesome. Yay. Let me try it on the other side. I can place my leg down gently. And then I'm going to take my other leg up. And I'm going to kick up like a horse. Yay. Yay. Perfect. Good job, Blaze. I'm going to gently bring my foot down. And from here, I'm going to bring my legs up. And I'm going to go into a deep squat. Because guess what? I'm going to waddle like a duck. Can you waddle up or down your mat? Can you waddle up? Good. Let's see if we can waddle backwards. Can you waddle back? I can't. I'm stuck. <laughs> it's kind of tricky sometimes. Now remember, her friends come to watch her, and they don't understand what she's doing. Now the next day, she goes back to the tree, and this time she imagines that she's going to the jungle, right? So she sways like a palm tree. So we're gonna go into one of my favorite poses, Blaze. You and I are pretty good at this, huh? Let's become a jungle. Come on, we need some trees in our jungle. So when you grow your tree, maybe your tree branches are down here. Maybe your tree branch is higher. Can you do it? Can you hold steady? You can put your hands together in front of your heart if that makes you feel this better. Is my tree branch. That's beautiful, that's totally fine. And maybe, your tree wants to have some branches that are really high up and out, in which case you can definitely be swaying like a tree on this side. I think I'm gonna try it on the other side too. So I'm gonna grow a branch up here with my leg, and then I wanna extend some branches up into the sky like this. Mommy. Let me see if I can hold it. One, One. two. She also pretended that she was stretching like a jaguar, so she was really rounding out her back again. Let's go into our jaguar pose and round out our backs, and we can roar when we look up. Are you ready? Round out your back and roar. Did you roar? Are you a baby jaguar? Let's do it again. And roar out like a jaguar. And round out. And roar again. Roar. Ooh, good. I like that. That was great. And she's also going to hiss like a snake. Now, to be a snake, friends, we're going to go down on our belly all the way. Extend your legs. Place your hands right by your underarms next to your chest. We're going to take a breath in. Squeeze your shoulders, your elbows behind you, and raise up and Blaze, let's go down to it one more time. Take a breath in. Good job extending your breath. And then again, there was 10 children who came to watch her and they still didn't really understand what she was doing, but she was getting more comfortable at school and she was really beginning to feel happy. So the next time she went to do yoga, she'd gone on a farm adventure, she'd gone to the jungle. This time she pretended that she was going on a safari to the desert. So she wanted to do pyramid pose. So let's do pyramid pose. We're gonna become a pyramid with our body. We're gonna have to stretch up. There you go, stretch your lower back, raise your hips up. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we're gonna perch up like a sphinx. So come down again and only raise up a little bit here. So you guys remember when we did our snake pose, we went all the way up. For sphinx pose, we're just gonna be right here. I'm gonna stick my elbows right next to my chest like this. Mommy, Squeeze my back. Mommy, can pinch, you do it too? Can you pinch a type of pink? No, I'll show you what it is later. Excellent. And then we're gonna try camel pose too, friends. So for camel pose, we're gonna come sit up like this. Can you sit up with me, Blazer? I did it. We're gonna sit up like this now, bring up. You're gonna reach out for the back of your legs, for the back of your legs, 
and then open up your chest and your chin. Let them go down. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Oh, you got to be gentle with yourself, okay? I can't do it. Awesome. Now, you guys, the safari was fun, and this time there were even more kids watching her. There were 20 kids watching her. The next day is the day that she makes friends with Nick. And remember, she teaches him how to do yoga. So they become good friends together. And the next time they go on a yoga adventure, they pretended that they Mommy, were trees look, again. Mommy, look. Oh, beautiful. Look at your pose. Look at this guy's One, camel pose. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now gently come out of it. Good. That was beautiful. So next time they go, they're going to go under the tree again. So let's go into our tree pose. Nick and Anna this time, they go into tree pose. And then they stand tall like mountains together. Stand tall like a mountain. Can you stand tall like a mountain? Good. My name is a mountain. Stand nice and strong. Nope, my legs are not that wide. I'm really steady. Good. I hope friends at home who are listening are listening for the details because that'll help you do your pose better so that you can be really solid when you stand up okay now let's be like bears so to be like bears we're going to come on our hands and knees again and let's see if you can move your bottom side to side like a bear walking through the woods and growling 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 Blaze is maybe a baby bear cub and he's walking around too. And that stretch feels really good. Excellent. They pretended they were bears and guess what? This time there were 40 kids watching them. They didn't notice it. The next day they decided to go to the ocean. Now to go to the ocean, Blaze, we need to bring in the waves. Are you ready? To bring in the waves, friends, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna lay on our backs. Come lay down, Blaze. Come put your head this way. We're gonna extend our legs all the way up and then we're gonna bring in the waves so we're gonna go like this up and to the side and make like a wave with her legs and go up and to the side and up and to the side good job blaze you gotta make your tummy really strong that's what i'm doing to help my legs when i'm controlling my legs i won't let them fall on you so see if you can control yourself awesome so they go to the ocean and what did they do when they went to the ocean that day when they pretended they were there? They flapped Ooh. like swimmers. So let's go into swimmer pose again. Do you guys remember we did this for another story, Ella, when she went to visit her grandparents for the summer. So do swimmer pose. We're just gonna be kicking our arms and legs like this to go into swimming pose. Show me how swimmers swim. Are your feet up the ground too? You gotta make your lower back and your back really strong. Good job. And then we're gonna be surfers. So let's become surfers. We're gonna come back and jump on our surfboard. Can you come jump on your surfboard? Bend your front leg. Bend that one, yep. Extend your arms. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's try it on the other side. So, I'm gonna bring this foot up. I'm gonna bring up my back leg. Bend my front knee here. I'm gonna raise my arms up so I can go into my beautiful surfer pose. Blazer, your arms up to the side like mine. Excellent, are you bending your front knee? Yep, now hold it steady. Uh-oh, Blaze is having a hard time listening again and being steady, which is part of yoga. You have to be steady. That's the work. Good. Turn on your breath. Good. And you can find some peace in a kind of tricky pose. Excellent. So let's walk our feet up. And do you know what else? We're going to become sailboats too. Yes. I have to go pee. Can you hold it for a little bit? Okay. Blaze says he has to go potty. I'm sorry. But we're going to try to hold it and see if we can finish our story here. He's got it in him. All right. Let's become sailboats now. To do our sailboat again, we're gonna make a boat, a sailboat, just like this to one side. Let's make your sail from the back and the front. Beautiful, good stretching. And 
then we're also going to do sand castle pose. So Blaze, for sand castle pose, what do you think we should do? Well, I hmm. think we should do building pose for sand castle pose. Can you help me show me do sand castle pose? Okay. Okay, give me your I, idea. I think this will need to be a teamwork pose. You yeah. to make the top of that So should I lay next to you? And then you do this, and then you do this to make the front of the left. Okay, so should we lay down or should we sit up when we do that? Lay down. Okay guys, so we're gonna lay down and it looks like we're gonna extend our legs up in the air and Blaze has his hands like this on his head for the top of the sand castle. So let's build the sand castle together. Are you supposed to connect to me and be the other room? Okay, so I'm gonna connect my elbow to Blaze and that's how we're gonna connect in our castle. So here's the top of my castle. There. And then, and then you have to make the rock. Do we have flags that are waving in the breeze? Maybe our toast can be the flags waving in the breeze. Let's hold it here for a count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you, Blaze. And, and do you know what else Nick and Anna did? They also did seagull pose. So to be a seagull, you just have to be a bird. So you guys, let's go fly. What let's see if we can hold it. I'm steady. Let's see if Blaze can work on this. See if you can hold steady for a count of five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to try it on the other side. Blaze, can you give it a good try? Thank you. Good. One, two, three, four, five. And they also did seashell pose. So to do seashell pose, you guys, I'm going to keep my feet together and I'm going to go down with my knees open. And I'm going to see if I can place my chest and my tummy on the ground and stretch out my arms and do seashell pose. And you can rest your forehead on the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, that felt nice. That was almost like a little rest. Now, you guys, it starts to sprinkle. Oh, did you know how it starts to sprinkle and rain. How did sleeping I comes? You were sleeping. <laughs> and you know what? When the kids look up, they realize that all their friends have joined them on the mats and that they've created their own actual rainbow with all their friends. So Blaze, we're gonna do a little mini rainbow pose and then we're gonna do a big rainbow pose and they're partner poses, so you're gonna need a friend to do it with. So Blaze, sit like me on your knees. Put your bum right on your feet with your knees together. Mm -hmm. Put one hand down and then arch your rainbow over and see if you can connect to your partner and stretch out your sides. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see if Blaze can listen and we can finish off our story. Okay. You ready? Okay, I think we can do this. So one hand is straight. The other hand is going to curve over. I'm not moving my body more than that. I'm just moving my arm. Yep, hold your body up. There you go. Excellent. Now let's see if we can do this from the back and show you guys what it looks like when you make your little rainbow. So turn your arm, please. Go this way. We're going to place our, this arm inside, arm down. And then we're going to make our rainbow arch up over us. Good. One, two, three, four, five. Now you guys, there's another way to do it too. So we can stand up and be a giant rainbow in the sky. Blaze, come stand up. Let's see if we can do it together. Ready? So you stand up. Good, on your back. Perfect. And then see if you can reach up. Reach up. And over. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five. Let's try it on the other side. Let's try it with our back. Ready? One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah. And that was a beautiful way for us to end our story about Anna and her rainbow colored mats and the great friends she made in Nick and in learning how to lip read and share the gift of yoga with her other friends at school, new friends at school by using her imagination. So I hope you guys can share this with your family and they can join you in on the fun. Mm -hmm. You guys, thank you so much for joining us, Blaze, and I will say bye to you. Have a great day. Bye. We'll see you next time.